Here we have something you've probably never seen before. This is a 2019 registered Mercedes-Benz Atigo with a body by Erdemann from Turkey. Now, this vehicle was driven from Germany to the UK by the owners with the intention of using it and then Covid it. It's never been used. It's got three and a half thousand kilometres on the clock and this is how it came from the factory. To be honest, the more I see it, the more I like it because it's like, it's like a mini Trevigo. It's got the Trevigo stroke Turismo front. It's got the Trevigo wheel arches. It's got the body line. And it's got loads of little cubby holes because of its height. It's higher than your average UK spec midi coach and it's all coiffed up. It's all, you know, been IVA'd and everything. The paperwork's all there, so it's all legit. There's a power operated rear continental door. And we've got a decent amount of luggage, albeit full of spare parts and a spare wheel. But I'm trying to show you everything you're going to get with this vehicle. You've got bits and pieces in here. I think there's a spare mirrors and other bits and bobs in there. But you've also got decent luggage with side access. Little cubby hole for all your cleaning stuff. You can see that they've prepared, ready for use. Just never had the opportunity to use it. That is a ski locker. And in the ski locker is a brand new spare windscreen. Loads of side locker space. Those are wheel trims that have never been fitted. You've got that uh, step ladder, whatchamacallit, a blue tank. I've never seen one of these before, but I'm very impressed. We've got a power operated plug door with a little step that pops out when you open it. That's the only negative I can find and that's the climbing side because obviously rather than like on say a, an unvitorium where you go around the engine we're tackling it full on so the beeping is because we've got lockers open so don't worry about that but it brings you to a flat floor there's no step up into the saloon 34 reclining seats these are I would say Seeger seats, so the same seats you find in the Temza. Three point seat belts, half leather trim. That's the key because people think that and just see that and immediately think prestige. You've got the extra padding flaps. Don't know if that's included. We've got a rear floor mounted toilet that's never been sat on. We've got a double USB socket. You can just make that one out down there. We've a double USB socket at every seat. We've traced to the seat back. We're wired for DVD with two drop down monitors, fully air conditioned. This thing ticks all the boxes. It's just not what we're used to. And do you know the winner with this height? You're as high up as in a big coach. So from a passenger point of view, you've got the panoramic view and it would lend itself to PSVAR conversion because you've got the side locker space or you could put the lift possibly in the ski locker. I'm not sure looking now how oh, it's ski locker's about here. So you could basically have the lift here, door. That's, can you see me on the right? Lift here, door, half a window. That would work. I think this thing would make a good PSVAR compliant little coach. You've got the wood effect flooring. You've even got a little cool box at the front for the driver to keep his butties in. It's a standard Atigo cab. The good thing is you're getting in it like you do a normal coach. The passengers are getting in. There's nothing. If you think about your Cheetah XLs, your, your Unvitorians and that sort of thing, you've got to clamber over the engine or go out the driver's door if you want to get into uh, the passenger saloon, this is just like a little coach. 
the more I'm talking about this, the more I'm liking it. I think it's it. I think to be honest, if this is the only one in the country, somebody's missed a trick. Definitely. In the window, you've got the uh, automated emergency braking and lane departure warning system. But do you know what? I know, and I've said it a few times, I know it's not something we normally see on our roads, but it's it's registered, it's IVA'd, it's COC'd. But compared to a lot of its competitors, I think it's 100 times better the more I talk about it. So to recap, it's a 2019 on a 19 registration. It's a Mercedes Benz Atigo. It's built by Erdemann. I'm going to go, have to go on the internet and get all the proper details, but they'll be on the advert. And it is, bar the registration, brand spanking new.